Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Han. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to fully glitch your builds in NBA 2K23. Now, recently, I taught y'all how to do the mascot glitch. If y'all don't know the mascot glitch, you can get mascots at any level. I posted that a couple days ago. Go check that out if y'all want to. Make sure you do drop a like, sub, and turn on post notifications. It's all very much appreciated. Today, like I said, we're going to be going over everything to fully glitch your builds. Now, there used to be a glitch where you can do replica builds on any build so let's say like the ankle taker build you would be able to put that replica name on any build and it didn't even have to be a replica that was one of the first glitches a long time ago that's patched now the only three that i know that still work to this day is the animation glitch the jump shot glitch and the takeover glitch all three of those we're going to be going over in today's video so let's just jump straight into it now the build you're seeing me on right now is actually a glitch build it's a six nine and the way it's glitched basically only six fours and under can get the kyle lowry hop jumper the allen iverson spin jumper and the trey young fade these three are all for small guards and i have it on my tall guard that's the first glitch that i'm going to be teaching you how to do that's the animation glitch it doesn't work for any playmaking moves, but it does work for these three. And I feel like these three is very much worth it because these are three completely different things you could do to get open. One, the fadeaway makes it so you got the best fadeaway in the game and it's easier for you to, you know, green fades. Allen Iverson spin jumper, amazing to use to at least get open once a game. So I like having that a lot. And then the Kyle Lowry hop jumper is just beautiful. It's perfection on a tall build. So... Having these three things really is overpowered, so that's the first thing I'm going to teach you. To do the animation glitch, the first thing you're going to want to do is make a new build. This is going to be the build that you want all the animations on that, let's say you're making a 6-9 with the Kyle Lowry like me, right? You're going to start off and make the 6-9 build, or if you already have a 6-9 build that's upgraded or a tall build that's upgraded, then you could go ahead and use that one but i prefer making a new one you're gonna make that new build after you make that new build you're gonna delete it and save a clip of you deleting it once you do that you're gonna file a support with 2k you're gonna tell them you accidentally deleted your build they're gonna tell you to do a couple things you know what i'm saying and then they're gonna end up telling you to make a placeholder build when they tell you to make this placeholder build, you're going to want to go and make a small guard and equip the Kyle Lowry hop jumper, the Trey Young fade, and everything like that. You can even do the Kevin Porter Jr. base jump shot. So you could do the Kevin Porter Jr. base jump shot, the Allen Iverson spin jumper, Trey Young fade, and you could do the Kyle Lowry hop jumper. So make a small guard, put those four things on there. And then basically tell them that you're done with everything they told you to do. And then they're going to send your build back. When they send your build back, the 6-9 will be completely equipped with the animations you equipped on the small guard. So if you equip those four things, those four things will be on the build when they send it back. I hope that all wasn't too confusing. I popped up screenshots so you could understand a little bit of the process of what you got to do when it comes to dealing with 2k support. Other than that, um, that's how you do the animation glitch and how you get animations on a tall build. Now the next thing I'm going to teach you is the jump shot glitch. Alright, so the next thing that I'm about to teach is the jump shot release glitch. This is, I mean, it's, it's usable, but it's not like the best. I mean, it could be better, but it is what it is. So the release glitch, what this basically does, now I'm going to go to my, um, 6-4 jump shot. This is my 6-4 jump shot, right? I'm going to switch it to something that should be a higher, um, a higher, like, three ball rating, I guess you could say, like a higher, whatever you want to call it, bro. I'm going to think of something that has an 86 three point requirement because that's what we're going to need to do the glitch. So that's the first thing. Let me look for, let me see what type of jump shot I could put on here. Um, Dwayne Wade, let me see if I could put me on Oscar Robinson, Oscar, Oscar, where you at Oscar, that's an 83 three ball, 
What other bases is there? Seth Curry. All right, as y'all can see, this one's an 87 three ball requirement, right? What you're gonna do now is basically hit circle twice. Wait, no. You're gonna wanna hit triangle. Hit triangle and hit keep changes and return. As you can see on the bottom, it says 87 three point requirement. So I can't have this. So what you're gonna wanna do, right? is edit a jump shot right so hit triangle go then edit whatever jump shot you have in your first slot it has to be a jump shot you already have equipped right so look i want you to pay close attention to this okay so as you guys can see i'm gonna put on the 6-4 jump shot the ratings are b minus a a plus and then d plus right now i'm gonna go make that jump shot you're gonna hit triangle and you're gonna edit the jump shot that you already have equipped edit the jump shot you already have equipped once you do that then just go ahead and switch it to the jump shot that let's say you want on that has too high of a three-point requirement right so this one right here right now i'm gonna hit triangle keep changes and return and then i'm completely back out once i do that i'm gonna come back in and as you guys can see, look at the ratings on the bottom right and look at the bottom left, 87 three-point requirement. Now you will have that glitched jump shot on. So that's how you could glitch any releases onto your jump shot and put those jump shots on. So that's the second glitch. The third glitch, as you guys can see, I'm on a 6-4 my player, 6-4, and I have rim take. There's no rim take available for this build. That's the last glitch I'm going to teach you is how to do rim take. Then from there, you'll have an animation glitched, jump shot glitched, takeover glitched. And you could even do the mascots that I taught you guys how to do and have mascots too. So let's get straight into teaching you how to do the takeover glitch. All right, so now we're getting into the final thing, which is the takeover glitch. What you're going to want to do is load in on a build that has the takeover you want. I have a defensive anchor made so that whenever I want rim, or slash and take i just hop on this build you're going to load in onto that build that has the takeovers that you want and from there you know i'll teach you what to do so let's just wait till we load in this gas pack is hitting drop a like on this video if y'all want to take a hit man drop a dislike actually don't drop a dislike i don't need none of those today all right, so you're going to load in on a build that has the takeovers that you want, right? You're going to hover over the takeover like this. You're going to hold down on the PlayStation button and join anybody that you have online. So just join literally anybody you got online. I'm going to pull up the people on my list and I'm going to join them. I would show y'all what it looks like when you do that, but... You know, I don't even have an Elgato right now, so I can't actually show y'all me joining somebody. But no matter how long it takes, just find somebody, scroll down your list, and just join anybody that's in the park. As you can see, I'm now joining somebody in a park. And once you load into that park, you're just going to quit out to the main menu as fast as you possibly can. So once you load in, just hit options, quit out to the main menu as fast as you possibly can can this take can this hurry up man we trying to get i'm not doing no cuts on this video by the way because i don't want y'all thinking any of these glitches are fake or that any of this is like you know what i mean like i'm not with none of that bro i'm not with none of that so now you're just gonna simply quit out as fast as you possibly can and then you're gonna load in on the build you want to take over on so i already have rim take on my 6.4 i'm gonna hop on my 6.9 my 6.9 does not get rim take you guys will see it once i load in on the build and i'm just gonna glitch rim take over on it as you can see it has sharp and slashing right now and once i do the glitch it'll have sharp and rim take on it so yeah can this hurry up and load come on 2k come on 2k i ain't trying to make this video too long man you trying to make it too long i'm stuck at 96 100 all right now once you load in you're just simply going to want to go to your takeovers and hit x on the first takeover and boom as you can see i glitched rim take and now i have rim take on my build so that's all you have to do to do the takeover glitch 
And yeah, man, those are three glitches you could do to your builds to have completely glitched builds in NBA 2K23. Check out the mascot video if y'all want to learn how to do the mascots. Until the next time, your boy Han is out. I love y'all, man. I'm happy to announce that I've made a Discord for all my supporters to join. If you're somebody who wants to find teammates, you're somebody that wants the latest update on all my videos in case noties don't go out, you're somebody that just wants people to talk to, or you're somebody who wants to come through there, self-promote, and do whatever. There's a tab for self-promote and tutors party chat, so you could go in there and play with people. It's not fully set up nicely because I haven't made discords, but it is there. The link will be in the description. If you do want to join, everybody is welcome. Just do not be toxic because toxic vibes are not tolerated at all. If you come in there with any type of toxic vibes, you'll be kicked out. Now let's get straight to the video.